Okay, um, well, to get into some of the more formal aspects of risk analysis, uh, we are going to look at the two major forms, and that is qualitative and quantitative. Um, uh, qualitative, uh, you're, you're making estimates here, you're, <clears throat> you're telling stories. You have to make sure when you're doing this that you are not telling yourself stories. Um, but you are, uh, creating scenarios. You are thinking of, you know, what, well, again, you know, what, what can go wrong and then what do we do about it and whether, uh, you know, what we do about it is going to be effective. Um, but we're just, the, the qualitative is more the thought experiment type situation. It's, it's not, um, it's not as accurate as the quantitative, but it is possible. Uh, and I'll, I'll get into some of that. Um, now, quantitative when you are doing, oh, well, I mean, there's, there's qualitative and there's quantitative. Um, some people try and do a hybrid. You got to be a little bit careful. And I'll come into some of the reasons why when we, we go into, uh, qualitative, uh, particularly. Um, but, uh, just, just beware that you know which parts are truly quantitative and, and which parts you're telling yourself stories about. Uh, so it's, it's something to definitely, uh, pay attention to, keep in mind if, if you are, think you want to try a, a hybrid model after we get through both, uh, parts here. Anyways, quantitative risk analysis, um, you are, the, the aim, the objective here is to assign objective, accurate, numeric values. Um, we assign values to everything. You assign a value to the asset. What is the asset's value? We, we've talked about, you know, going through the asset value in a variety of ways. Um, uh, we, you know, we talked about different aspects of, of the asset. We talked about, uh, the information classification, uh, that can give you uh, feedback information on on the asset value. Uh, uh, we also have to look though at at all the the threats, uh, the risks, um, what is going to be the impact of a particular threat. Uh, if it happens, um, how frequently is it uh, expected? to happen, um, what, uh, kind of, uh, well, you know, we, we have a, a number of safeguards, uh, in place. How effective are those safeguards? And again, remembering that that is going to be probabilistic in the same way that risk is, uh, the, the protection there. Now, all of these things, you know, the, the asset value, the uh, the threat impact, the, the threat likelihood, the effectiveness of the controls, countermeasures, and safeguards, all of those aspects, when we can give objective, real, accurate values to it, that is fully quantitative risk analysis. That almost never happens. Uh, you, uh, you know, particularly when we come to the probability of an event, um, these days in, in terms of attacks, we simply, you know, the, the technology is changing so much, the environment is changing so much, the, uh, skills, tools, um, even identities of threat actors are changing so rapidly. Uh, how do we keep track of all that? And, and therefore, you know, how do we give a, a full quantitative uh, analysis of, you know, everything there with regard to any, any particular risk? Um, 
the uh, we, you know we we also uh, are going to be looking at things like the uh, the costs of the safeguards, countermeasures, controls. Um, we are going to give statistical values to the uncertainty of all of this. Um, you know, if, if, you know. Anyway, it, all all of these things have to be quantified if we are going to have a fully quantitative risk analysis. Now, we can go with, you know, partial numbers, we can go with partial data, we can go with estimates. Uh, but again, beware, you know, when when you deal with quantitative risk analysis, um, you think you come out with, you know, an answer at the end, and, and that is the answer. Well, that is an answer. Um, but you know, have you considered absolutely everything? Is absolutely everything covered? Do we have a full picture? So do, you know, is that number that we get at the end real? And, uh, you know, when, when we can, uh, when we can do all of this, uh, like I said, you know, we can get that number, um, we can have a fair degree of confidence and that gives us, uh, a lot of information about you know where do we put our resources you know how effective are, are these controls how dangerous is this risk as opposed to these controls over here that are uh, addressing this risk which has this much impact um, you know we can we can match all of those things up we can make decisions about dividing our our resources which once again is always fixed you know and never enough. And, uh, you know, what do we, uh, you know, where where do we make our decisions? And then, you know, our budgeting and everything can be justified on the basis of that quantified risk analysis. Um, okay, well, uh, like I say, you know, there's all kinds of factors there that we have to do. Um, there is also a process and and the process itself you know the the numbers the risks definitely aren't but the the process itself is is fairly standardized and and we'll go into that next time <laughs>